Hi friends, you're watching Movie Reviews with uh, Raghuram. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Hindi movie Sanak. Sanak stars uh, Vidyut Chamawal and uh, who else is there in the movie? Why would even you be worried who else is in the movie? Vidyut Chamawal is there. Isn't that enough? If you're an action lover, lover of action movies, this film is the perfect movie for you. You have to watch this. You should not miss this movie at any cost. Sanak is an out and out Vidyut Jamal movie and it is an action thriller. And when Vidyut Jamal is in the movie, what do you expect? Tell me the three things. What do you expect? Number one, action. Number two, more action. Number three, much more action. That's it. Do you need a story? No story at all. Even if there is no story, if you have even a small bit of story, Vidyut Jamal will carry it if there are plenty of action scenes. Vidyut Jamal is one of the fantastic action heroes I have ever seen. I am not speaking about his acting. I am just speaking about his capacity to carry the movie on the basis of the stunts he performs, the action sequences he gives. Mind-blowing, ultimate, awesome and fantastic. What action scenes? Even in Sanak, you can see out and out action scenes. Kanish Kvarma is the director of uh, the movie Sanak. Why am I speaking about Kanish Kvarma first? Because our director has thought, Kanish Kvarma has thought, I have Vidyut Jamal in my hand. This guy has accepted the movie. This guy has signed the movie. So one important thing is, I need no story for my movie at all. So we will first picturize three, four very good action sequences or even more action sequences, uh, uh, including uh, Vidyut Jamal. And then we will try to stitch a story around it. So what others will do is they will build a concept, build a story and then include fight sequences, action sequences in the movie. But for Vidyut Jamal movie, the directors will think in a different way, I feel, especially after watching Sanak. They first picturize, choreograph those stunts and action sequences in a very good way and then stitch a small story around that. The movie length is also less than two hours and you will not feel bored. If you are searching for a story in this movie, if you are searching for a hardcore, hard-hitting and soul-touching story in this movie, just miss this movie don't see sanak at all it is not for you at the beginning of my uh, review itself i have said this movie is strictly 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 for the action movie lovers and not for others at all only action only action only action that's it about the vidyut jamal movie sanak so i'll go to the law of subtraction just remove a uh, vidyut jamal from the movie just remove the action sequences there is nothing in the movie at all let me come to the plot of uh, the movie Rukmini Maitra plays uh, the role of uh, uh, Vidyut Jamal's uh, wife in the movie. She has been diagnosed with a very complicated uh, heart disease and Vidyut Jamal admits her to a hospital. The surgery is successful and the D-Day comes uh, when his wife uh, would be discharged from the hospital and he has gone to the hospital to bring her back home. At this particular point, an, a bad event occurs, a bitter event occurs. There is a terrorist attack on the hospital in which Vidyut Jamal's wife has been admitted and is on the verge of being discharged. Ajay Pal Singh is uh, the kingpin of arms dealer who has been admitted uh, in the hospital for some problems in the pacemaker and this group of terrorists have come and attacked the hospital just to take their leader that is uh, the arms dealer Ajay Pal Singh with them. And there is a story behind uh, why this Ajay Pal Singh has been admitted in that particular hospital and why there is a terrorist attack. Uh, was it a plot? Was it a pre-plan? When you watch the movie you will come to know what exactly is the scene behind it. So as I already said, uh, the terrorists have attacked the hospital. There is a hostage situation and uh, many people are uh, under panic. The police has come, the press has come outside the hospital and uh, there is a bigger uh, panic scenario. Neha Dupia plays uh, the role of uh, uh, the leading inspector in the movie, the police inspector and uh, she is uh, taking in charge and uh, in command of that uh, particular uh, situation and she is uh, helpless, she is not able to do anything. The entry for the police into the hospital has been blocked and uh, it's a very difficult uh, situation. In such a situation, our hero Vidyut Jamal comes into the picture. How Vidyut Jamal single-handedly fights out uh, the terrorists and will he be able to rescue the hostages including his wife? Will there be any damages and uh, collateral damages uh, in that particular scenario? How will Vidyut Jamal manage the entire uh, crisis, entire situation and uh, whether he will be successful in doing so or uh, not? No prizes for guessing, you will get answers for all your questions. Just watch the movie Sanak. As I said, uh, beyond Vidyut Jamal, what is the biggest USP of the movie? Stunts choreography, action sequences, top quality. I want to tell top, top sebi upper quality, ultimate choreography of stunts, fights. See that fight sequence in the parking lot where he fights with uh, one of the terrorists who is in the form of a security guard. 
ultimate fight sequence that gives the premise that is only the soup of the movie that is an appetizer for you to tell that there are many such sequences in wait for you as the movie progresses ahead he will get the help of one or two guys in the hospital he enters the hospital single handedly and how he fights out that entire scenario is very very interesting and intriguing to watch i can't call it as suspenseful moments but you will keenly wait for the next frame to come what exactly is going to happen the director doesn't waste much time in the movie at all 15 20 minutes after the beginning of the film the director directly goes into the concept of the movie there is no concept at all he directly jumps and takes his hero into the action scenarios and with short breaks with short intervals you get action sequence after action sequence fight after fight and stunt after stunt which will keep you hooked and booked on your chair you will be just focusing on the screen just you will forget everything and see vidyut chamal amidst those magnanimously short stunts two stunts i want to two action sequences i just want to focus upon their lengthy action sequences and fantastic you will not even blink your eye you will not even bat your eyelids while watching those stunts fantastic all those people in the terrorist uh, group you can find many fighters many people among the terrorists who are uh, expertized in uh, martial arts so we have a lot of foreigners uh, maybe uh, they are chinese or uh, the koreans i don't know but they are perfect in the martial arts and uh, i felt they were of equal combat with vidu chamal and hats off and special mention to the stunt choreographer or the choreographers magnanimous way fantastic way these fights and action sequences have been choreographed directed and presented one action sequence in the hospital lot and the last climax fight mind blowing so you'll feel paisa vasool especially if you are a lover of action movies as i already said unless otherwise you are not going to be fascinated the movie is not going to catch you the movie is not going to appeal to you if you love action movies you will feel paisa vasool after seeing those three four uh, action sequences by vidu jamal he is the master of that and these are not ordinary fight sequences ordinary stunts they are totally special if you watch the movie i cannot describe i cannot show you how these stunts are choreographed pictureized and shown to us if you watch the movie you will feel really fantastic even if you don't have any mode of watching the movie just forward the movie and watch those three four stunts you will hardly be spending 15 20 minutes or even 20 25 minutes watching those stunts and you will feel wow just wow Vipul Amrutlal Shah has uh, produced this movie and uh, we know Vipul uh, Shah is uh, known for giving us uh, really good movies and also action movies songs and music uh, i don't want to have a special mention of uh, them suna hai is uh, one good song one good uh, uh, melodious song oyara dil lagana is a fantastic uh, dance number which is a copycat from uh, the previous movie and you can see it at uh, uh, the last at the end part of uh, the movie when uh, the credits are being rolled coming to the story of the movie the story is that's it whatever i have told uh, uh, in my synopsis uh, there is nothing much uh, to the story it's not uh, very special uh, from the story point it is very weak very ordinary story i should tell the story and story narrative is uh, nothing like that rukmini maitra as uh, vidyut jamal's wife is uh, looking awesome cute her expressions are good the chemistry some scenes where there is emotional chemistry between uh, those two characters are good vidyut jamal is also looking good in uh, certain frames forget about uh, the action scenes nobody can surpass him fantastic he has done awesome job uh, in giving those uh, stunts and also the action sequences uh, to us the all credits goes to not only the choreographer of the action scenes but also to vidyut jamal majorly and coming to his action and expressions i'm not a big fan of uh, uh, vidyut jamal i should say, tell that uh, he's okay in his role and he has played to his strengths neha dupia plays uh, the role of acp jayanti her role is not a big one but whatever she has done uh, it's okay uh, her role is okay in fact uh, she doesn't get to do too much in the movie chandan roy sanyal Chandan Roy Sanyal as a Captain Saju fantastic acting you just watch his acting in some frames he is looking awesome cruel and also very intimidating his role is good i loved his role in the movie Kiran Karmarkar in the role of Ajay Pal Singh he too has a very 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 slim role uh not worth uh, defining or not worth uh, mentioning you can catch up with a good comedy light comedy by Chandan Roy uh, you love him or all uh, when you are watching uh, sanak you will have a feel that you are uh, watching uh, the combined pictures of arnold silvester uh, stallone jackie chan jetly bruce willis and of course van dam for me sanak looked like an indian version of die hard i can't tell that uh, i loved the movie i like the movie in bits and parcels especially the action sequences again and again i have mentioned the story i did not like if you 
review the movie from two different perspective story of the movie, movie i would just uh, love to give 0.5 or 0.75 to that stunt sequences just extract the stunt sequences action sequences from the movie keep all those in one frame and watch back to back i would definitely give 4.5 or 5 out of 5 for the action sequences and that makes the difference in the movie so my final uh, verdict on uh, sanak it is a decent uh, one time watch for uh, the lovers of action movie strictly no for uh, others it is a fast paced movie and uh, the run duration as i already said is uh, below 2 hours uh, you can just sit and watch it at uh, one go so where do you get to watch this movie disney plus hotstar uh, is the destination where you get to watch uh, sanak so that's my review on uh, the hindi movie vidyut jamal uh, uh, star uh, sanak thanks for watching my video if you loved my video kindly like share and subscribe to my channel i'll catch up with you all in my next video with another movie review until then do take care goodbye namaste